What do I see when I look in the mirror? I see... I see myself. I see the person that I am learning to love every day a little bit more. my favorite Disney song. Envelope number one. The first song you ever loved. The first song I ever loved. The one that's like coming to mind right now. It's, um, it's a song called Baby Girl, which is by Nelly Furtado. It's on her first album, Woe Nelly. And the very first line just goes, come here. And then it goes, don't, don't, like with the little, like the guitar comes in. Loved it from when I was a kid. Um, so that's, I'm gonna say that that's the first song I ever loved. A memory that's associated with the song probably in the living room, in a tiny little like Barbie crop top, using an encyclopedia as a prop to do a dance routine in the living room when I was a kid. So it's pretty good. I always loved the idea of, you know, doing music or becoming a musician or a pop star or, you know, but it was very much a dream. Like I would see it on TV and I'd be like, oh my God, this is so cool. Or I'd be so fascinated by the artist, but I never really thought it was something that was possible. I'm pretty much living my dream. Not pretty much, I am living my dream. This is, this has exceeded all my dreams. All right, envelope number two. A song that you love to perform. Um, a song that I love to perform. Well, when I was on tour with my first album, I um, it pretty much changed every night. Sometimes it was IDGAF, because I feel like I can't say the whole thing. Um, sometimes it would be this song called Begging, which I would do just before like the encore would happen. Um, and that was just like so much energy. Sometimes it'd be scared to be lonely. Sometimes it'd be new rules. It really would change all the time. And um, obviously at the moment I haven't been able to go on tour, but I would say that I've loved performing Pretty Please. And that's just between a few like acoustic sets and then my Studio 2054 set. And it's just been really, really fun. It's one of my favorite songs on the album as well. And it just gets me in a good mood. First show back. Um, well, it's gonna be quite different from my first, you know, tour with my first album. Although I ended up doing, I, I guess, three different tours with that first album. This one's gonna be a lot more honed in. It's gonna be another dimension to the world that we've created with Future Nostalgia. It's gonna be, um, a lot more of a spectacle and you know all I'm really ready for is just to be able to sing these songs live to just like dance our hearts out together and um, you know that feeling of adrenaline and butterflies now I'm ready to just constantly do rehearsals and then go on tour for about a year okay envelope number three a song that you wish you had written a song that I wish I had written, one of my all time favorite songs ever, and it's Crazy by Niles Barkley. There's just something about the lyrics and the melody. It's almost one of those songs that when you listen to it, it feels like it would have been so easy to write. Like the words just flow. It's such a, you know, a, a, um, a stream of consciousness. And I'm just obsessed with storytelling and being able to encapsulate a whole feeling in a song and I really feel like it takes me on a journey and I just love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. My biggest inspiration um, 
there are so many artists that I just kind of look up to and, and love. Pink or Nelly Furtado or Alicia Keys. Also, what I think is amazing is I'm, I'm so inspired by such a new generation of, of incredible female artists now that it's just so amazing because there's so much empowerment, so much support, such a sense of community and togetherness and um, everyone's just so unique. But I love how music is constantly evolving and there's no real kind of genres. People are collaborating with each other. Music is constantly ever changing and there's so much beauty in, in you know, collaborations that you wouldn't really expect. Number four, a song that you're most proud of. Song that I'm most proud of. Um, Uh, you know, Future Nostalgia, the whole album as a whole, um, I'm incredibly proud of that. I feel like it's helped me grow so much as an artist, as a songwriter, as a performer. It's, it's given me so much confidence. It's, you know, taught me so much about, you know, what I need to do in order to be the best version of myself. You know, just like all personal growth, things that I felt like maybe were a little bit um, out of reach maybe this album has given me so much to believe in and I'm incredibly proud of my song Levitating. It was the first song that I wrote um, with my friends Coffee and Sarah and Coz in London which um, really helped me solidify exactly what Future Nostalgia meant to me and helped me kind of carry on going into, into sessions knowing that I had a much clearer idea of what it was because at the time I just had the album name and it was also the first song that I was able to play to my team after telling everyone that my album was called Future Nostalgia but I didn't quite know how to explain exactly what that was or what that was going to sound like and I was like I just have to go into the studio and make it and then I can show you what it was all about and um, I'm just incredibly proud of the process because it's taught me so much. I am really proud of myself. I feel like I've grown so much. I've sat down, I've learned, I've listened, and I'm still growing and learning. Um, but it's just nice to know that you can do anything that you put your mind to and anything that you throw your whole heart and soul into. And I'm just so happy. Um, with how things are right now. And I'm excited to start making new music. Mumbo number five. All right. What do you see when you look in the mirror? Ooh. <laughs> I, uh, what do I see when I look in the mirror? I see, I see myself. I see the person that I am learning to love every day a little bit more. Um, I see, I see a lot more confidence and strength and um, I see someone who's really learning to understand themselves and growing. I feel like it's nice to see myself. It's nice to see the growth within me. I think more internally, you know, when I look at myself in the mirror, that's how I feel. More about the things that are going on inside me. Um, and yeah, just, just, um, I guess how proud I am of, of myself. 15 year old me would be absolutely chuffed to um, see me here today. So I'm gonna continue to make her proud. <laughs>